Hey everyone, just letting you know that this video was filmed quite a while back when I only had 300 subscribers. Thanks again for all of you who've subscribed so far, and I look forward to making more videos and, you know, letting you guys have a good time. Anyway, enjoy this video. It's not the funniest thing in the world, but uh, I think you guys will enjoy it. Hello all you lovely internet people you. I'm FDA Storyteller and to say thank you for your views and support, I decided to halt all my productions on other videos and make a quick video for all of you. I was scrolling through Facebook, like someone's weird aunt looking for minion Bible verses, to remind me how Christ fed the 5,000 with five Twinkies and two Swedish fish. Then I saw something, a collage of Bible characters, all with amazing life-changing experiences. The post asked me to choose five characters to meet with. The others, I don't know, they go to hell or something. The game was developed by that puppet from Saw, I guess. So how could I make such a biblical Sophie's choice? Well, here we go. Adam. No, dude screwed up everything for everyone. Lots of people blame Eve, but Adam was the one who God turned to. And uh, what was the first thing he did? He said, Dear God, I'm uh, sorry, but the woman you gave me is defective. So uh, me eating the fruit is kind of your fault, you know, because you put her here. And now we have men echoing that today. Hard pass. Eve, mother of humanity. Which means she's probably going to tell me that we need to clean our collective room, the earth, and do the collective dishes, the plastic bottles and stuff, and tell us to play nice with our siblings, no matter how they look. Who needs that, right? Big fat nope. Noah. His name already sounds like someone saying, no. But heck, dude survived a massive apocalypse that killed everyone he loved and cared about except for seven family members, then got super wasted. I'd love to talk to him, but, but could you imagine the PTSD he must be going through? Yeah, nope. Job. Sorry, no. I feel despite all the grief and stuff, I bet all he wants to talk about is his testimony. He's like one of those old ladies in church who always needs to stand up and tell her life story when asked to give a testimony, that is. Jeez, Job, we get it. God and the devil fought over you. I already heard this story. Abraham. Nah, B. He's the start of this madness. If he'd just kept it in his pants, a lot of our issues in the Middle East would have been solved. Jacob. Nope. Dude was a douchebag. Every opportunity he got, he was trying to hustle. Brother is hungry, and Jacob tricks him out of his birthright. Man, if I walked into a room with this guy, He's gonna walk out with my wallet, my shoes, my social insurance number. Don't know what a Bronze Age nomadic sheep herder would do with my identity, but it wouldn't be the first time he stole someone's life. Joseph. Nope, can't be in the room with a Bible character that dresses better than me. Next. Moses. My boy. He got married to a sister, despite what his family said. Let his people out of slavery, despite what his family said. And finally, led him to the promised land, despite what his family said. This guy took nothing from nobody. True gangster. Yes. To my boy Mo. Joshua. Nope. I feel like our talk would be more of a shouting match. And the last time he got in one of those, he tore down the place. Hello. My name is Joshua. And God has given us this land. Deborah. The first female leader of Israel. Placed before her husband's name, Prophetess Supreme. Nope. I'd be embarrassed to tell her how regressive our time has become compared to ancient Palestine. Samson, ancient biblical hairy man. Nope. Could you imagine what this guy would smell like? Here's a time before shampoo. Samuel. Same deal. Look it up. He was a Nazarite too. That means long, smelly hair, too. Saul. Dude was seven feet tall. I can't be chilling with giants. All our selfies would look weird. David. Killed giants, married beautiful women, kidnapped beautiful women, killed husbands, wrote great poems. 
and somehow managed to be the poster child of Judaism. Yeah, sure, I'd like to talk to him. Solomon, not a fan of wise guys. Elijah, unless he shows up in a golden chariot, no. Jonah, despite the fishy smell, I'd like to talk to him. About how God worked on his heart and taught him how not to be racist. If we ought to feed white nationalists and KKK members to the Megalodon, then so be it. Someone called Jason Statham. Isaiah. Yeah, I got nothing. So no. Daniel. Yes, dude lived through so many ancient kings and had visions of every war that would ever happen. I know he would also have some PTSD, but I'd like to ask him about World War III. Ezekiel. This guy saw UFOs, a skeleton army, guarded a sandcastle for a week, but I only have one slot left, and I want some New Testament people. John the Baptist. Hairy, sweaty, eats bugs and honey. What else is there to know? Hey dude, how were, uh, you know, family cookouts with your cousin Jesus? Nope. Mary. I'm not a Catholic. What else is there to say? John the Beloved. Good golly, this guy had the balls to wait till all his friends were dead and then publish his own views and events and call himself the Beloved Disciple. No, but honestly, he is my last pick. This guy lives through the entire New Testament. And I'd love to hear his thoughts. Hear the book of Revelation from him directly and hear how to handle ancient house arrest. Peter, great guy, but I'm already taking John. Paul, no, I've already chosen John. Okay, everybody, thank you so much. Once again, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Which Bible characters would you like to talk to? Anyway, hope to hear from you soon, and uh, enjoy the videos.